Hey guys, you're welcome back to the channel. My name is Amaka and this is Lizama Stitches. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a long A-line dress. So if this looks like what you like to learn, keep watching and click on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. So let's get started. So this is the fabric I'll be using. Now my fabric is folded into two and I have my front panel and the back panel here. Now this is my front panel and this is the back panel. I've drawn some lines already. I'm going to briefly explain what I did here. Now this is my shoulder line, which is also going to serve as my starting point. Now from my shoulder, now this is my shoulder, shoulder to waist point is 16 inches. Shoulder to hip point, now this is my hip point. Shoulder to hip point is 24 inches. From my shoulder to the full length of the dress is 56 inches. Now I'm going to, now because my table is small, I'm going to pull this up a little. So now my shoulder to my hip to the full length of the dress is 56 inches and this is my hemming allowance. So I'll take it back. So I'm going to take my short, my neck measurement. Now the front neck, the front neck width is three inches and the front neck depth is three inches. The back neck width is three inches and the back neck depth is one inch. So I'm going to connect the points. Now, from this neck point, now from this neck depth, from the front neck depth, I'm going to mark four inches because this dress is going to have, it's, it's going to have front slit. The neckline is going to have front slit. So I'm going to mark four inches, four inches because I'm still going to cut here. The shoulder measurements I'm working with is 14 inches. 14 divided by two gives you seven inches. Seven inches plus half inch seam allowance gives you 7.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 7.5 inches here. Now from this point, I'm going to come down by one inch for my shoulder slant, which I'm going to connect to the neckline. Now from the shoulder, from this point, from the shoulder point, I'm going to come down by eight inches for my armhole depth. Now the armhole measurement I'm working with is, the armhole measurement I'm working with is 16 inches, 16 divided by two. 16 divided by two gives you eight inches. So I'm going to mark eight inches here. And I'll connect this point to this point. Now this 7.5 inches I have here, I'm going to bring it down here. I'll connect this point to this point. And I'll extend this line. So this is my chest line. Now this is my chest point. Let me label these lines. This is my chest point. This is my waist point. This is my hip point. And the other one is my, is the full length of the dress. Now, now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to, now for me to impute my angle curve, I'm going to be working with my bust measurement. Now the bust circumference I'm working with is 38 inches, 38 divided by four, will give you 9.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 9.5 inches here, 9.5 inches. Now, on this point, on this line, I'm going to find the midpoint of this line. Now the midpoint of this line is four inches. Now for my front armhole, now for my front armhole, I'm going to come in on this midpoint from my front armhole, I'm going to come in by three quarter inch. And I'll connect this point to this point. And I'm going to connect this point to this point. Then for the back armhole, I'm going to connect this point. From this point, I'm going to connect this point to this point. I'll, I'll not go inside. The front armhole is usually deeper than the back armhole. So I'm going to connect this point to this point for the back armhole. So this is my chest point. This is my waist point. This is my hip point. Now this is what I'm going to do. On the chest point, I'm going to take my... 
I'm going to take my bust measurement on the chest point. Now, the bust circumference I'm working with is 38 inches. 38 divided by 4 gives you 9.5 inches plus 1 inch for ease because this dress is a free dress. So I'm going to be adding 1 inch for ease. So plus 1 inch for ease, and that gives you 10.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 10.5 inches here plus 1.5 inches seam allowance. This is my 1.5 inches seam allowance. Now on the waist point, I'm going to take my waist step measurement on the waist point. Now the waist circumference I'm working with is 34 inches. 34 divided by 4 gives you 8.5 inches. Plus 1 inch for ease gives you 9.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 9.5 inches here. Nine point five inches plus one point five inches seam allowance. Because it's an A line dress, I'm not going to now this this hip point is not useful to me. It's it will only serve as a guide. It is not useful to me, so I'm not going to take this measurement. So I'm going to pull up the lower part. So now this is the hem of my dress. So now I'm going to take my hip measurement on the hem, on this, on this point. So the hip circumference I'm working with is 40 inches. 40 divided by 4 gives you 10 inches. Gives you 10 inches. 40 divided by 4 gives you 10 inches. Plus 6 inches for ease. Gives you 16 inches. Now because this is the hem, I'm taking 6 inches. I'm using six inches for here. I'm using six inches for ease. So plus six inches for ease gives you 16 inches plus 1.5 inches seam allowance puts you here. Gives you 17.5 inches. Now the same measurements I have here, I'm going to take it here. So I pull this down again so that I can connect the point. So now I'm going to connect this point to this point and I'll connect this point to the hem just like this. So I'm going to connect this point to the lower part of my dress. So for me to be able to do that, I'm going to pull this up. So now this is my waist point. This is my waist point. This is my hip point. And I said this hip point is not useful. I'm not going to use it. So I'm going to connect this point to this point. Just like this. So this is what I'm going to do. Now my, my ruler is not long enough. My ruler is not long enough, but I've done my mathematics already. <laughs> now I'm going to connect this point to this point. Just like this. Still the same thing. Now from this point, I'm going to come up by, I'm going to come up by 1.5 inches because I don't want to have a pointy, I don't want to have a pointy edge. So I'm going to come up by 1.5 inches and I'm going to connect this point to this point with my curved ruler just like this. Now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to connect it to this point just like this. So I'm going to pull it down. I'm going to pull it back so that I'll be able to cut my dress. So I'm going to cut it. I'm going to start by cutting the back. I'll cut the back first, after which I'm going to cut the front. So this is the back neckline. I'm cutting the back neckline. Sorry. Before I do that, I'm going to add my shoulder seam allowance. So I'm using half inch for my shoulder seam allowance. So I'll cut. So now this, this dress is supposed to have pockets. It's going to have pockets. So now this is the pocket. The pocket is going to be two inches below the waist, the waistline. So this is the pocket. I'm going to notch it.
So I'm going to pull this up again. So I'm going to notch it. Now I'll notch the weight, I'll notch the pocket, the hip point, and the hem. So after that, so after that, I'm going to separate the front from the back so that I'll be able to finish the front. So this is the back, I'm removing the back, and this is the front, so I'll finish the front. Remember that I told you that the front is going to have slits, so I'm going to cut the slits. Now this is my four inches, I'm going to cut the slits. I'll open the slit and I'll, fin I'll cut the armhole. I'll trim the armhole. So this is for my pocket. Now this is for my pocket. This fabric is folded into four. So now it's folded into two and I folded it again into four because I need four pieces. So this is it. I'm just going to place my hand this way. I'm going to place my hand this way and this doesn't, it doesn't ha have a particular way of doing this. So my pocket is going to be seven inches. So my pocket is seven inches. While cutting, make sure you leave some allowance. So this is just it. So I have four pieces here. So I'll show you how to attach your pocket. Okay, let me illustrate with pins. So now this is my fat, this is my dress. This is the right side of my dress. And this is the right side of my pocket. So I'm going to place my pocket right side facing right side, just like this. Just like this. And I'm going to sew. Let me illustrate with pins. So after sewing, after sewing it this way, after sewing, I'll notch. After notching, I'll push the seam allowance, this seam allowance, I'll push it on the lining, I'll push it on the pocket and top stitch. I'm going to top stitch. Now after sewing, after sewing, I'm going to push the seam allowance just like this and I'll top stitch. I'll put the seam allowance on the pocket and I'll top stitch. The same way I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this other part and do the do the same thing to the back panel. But let me show you how to join the front and the back panel. So I've attached the pocket. Now this is it. I placed the pocket to the, on the on the dress, right side facing right side, just like this, right side facing right side. And I had to sew it. After sewing, I pushed the seam allowance on the pocket and top stitched. So this is how the wrong side is. That after notching, I pushed the seam allowance on the pocket and top stitched. So this is the wrong. This is the right side and this is the wrong side. So the next thing I'm going to do is this. Now, the same way I fixed this pocket, that's how I did this and this other part, this other part. Now, this is the next, so the next thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to take this to my sewing machine. After joining the shoulder, I'm going to join the shoulder. After joining the shoulder, then I'm going to sew this with 1.5 inches seam allowance. I'm going to sew it this way. Now, I'll place the pocket this way. I'll place it this way and I'll sew it with 1.5 inches seam allowance. I'll sew it this way. And I'll sew it, sew it, and I'll sew it down. So the same way I'm going to join this, I'm also going to join this one the same way. So I'll do it and show you the outcome. So this is a dress. Now I've, I've, I've sewn the, I've sewn the, now I've sewn the facing. I've sewn the facing. I'm still going to interlock it, use interlocking machine to, to tidy up this part. Now, so this is, I've attached the facing. I'm still going to iron it. I've not ironed my dress because I'm not true. Now for the pocket, this is the pocket. 
So for the pocket, this is the pocket. This is the pocket. And I've also hemmed the lower part. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to fix the sleeve. Now you can use any sleeve of your choice. You can use actually use any sleeve of your choice for this dress. Any sleeve can go. So I'm going to I'm going to finish this dress. I'm going to fix the sleeve. Then I'm going to wear it on my mannequin and show you the finished look of this dress. So now I've fixed my sleeve. I use the basic sleeve for this for the dress. I have a tutorial on how to draft a basic sleeve. I'm going to leave the link of that video in the description box below so you can check it out later. So that's just you with this tutorial. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends. Share this video in your sewing groups. Subscribe to my channel to support me. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Nizama Stitches. We've come to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.